What up? 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 Uh, all right, uh, for real though. Um, guys, what up? We got the Elastico today. Great move. One of the best one-on-one -on -one moves. You've seen it a ton. Ronaldo does it, Robinho does it. Uh, one of my favorites right now is probably Wilfred Boney. He's awesome at it. I want you guys to be able to understand the mechanics of this so that you can have your own touch to it, put your own flair to it. So as long as you guys understand how to do it, you guys can create your own. Your own style, your own play, your own way of being, okay? So, the Elastico looks like this. All right. Now, let's break that down. All right, so down here at my feet, we'll take a look. And we're gonna need to use a bit of the outside, but not entirely. You don't wanna hit here and then go like that. It's not gonna give you enough, all right? You're gonna need to hit the ball almost with your foot facing down as much as you can go. It's there is your first touch. And if you can, the best snakes, they don't leave your foot. So you're not going to go like this and then like that because that is done, but it doesn't really get what you want. What you want is the ball to never leave your foot. All right, notice the lean. At least I'm leaning over like that by then, okay? My plant foot stays there the entire time. But what you want is to hit the ball here when you're rolling it back, you wanna snap. Snap your ankle back that way and lean, then you can explode. Okay, now, so now that we've got a defender here, Brandon's gonna play as a defender. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when you've got a defender right in front of you. As hopefully I said earlier, you can use this when you're in a tight area. So that's what we're gonna take a look at right now. And when you're in a tight area, you don't have time to build up space, but the move is still effective. You can use this to nutmeg him. I can, move, I can use this to maybe try and get him to move out of the way completely. But you definitely want to remember when you're in a tight space, really throw your hip out there and bring it back. This is not going to work because he's going to get the ball and you're off balance. You need to be able to push off on that left foot and go that way. We want to send him there and there. So if I wanted to nutmeg him, and I'll take this a little slow, I push it out like there, I go there. Because he's off balance, I'm gonna be good to go. All right? Now, if I just wanted to try and get him to move out of the way, you gotta keep the snake closer to you, okay? So my snake would be like this, like that, and then go. All right, so there's two variations of that snake. All right, so game-like, if you wanted to try and put it through his legs, it would look a little bit something like this. And if we didn't have enough space, if you're just, you're just standing here, okay? Remember, you're just standing here. The defender's right there. Maybe you're in the corner. Maybe you've got defenders behind you and you really need to get out of this space. And so, because there's no space behind him, you gotta keep it close to yourself. And it would look like this, all right? That quick action though, make sure you notice. I move out, I move in. The ball stays close and we got it. All right, so some of you guys are right-footed and I'm predominantly left-footed. So we're gonna have B go ahead and show us how to do the snake with the right foot. Go ahead, B. 